Hello, my name is Fendimus, and in this video, we're going to be learning about creating bulleted unordered lists. If you want to follow along, the link is in the description down below. Let's begin. HTML has a special element for creating unordered lists or bullet point style lists. Unordered lists start with an opening U1 element followed by any number of LI elements. Finally, unordered list close with a UL for unordered list. For example, and then you have UL milk cheese with the LI tags and then closed with a forward slash UL. This would create a bullet point styled list of milk and cheese. So now for this challenge we need to remove the last two P elements and that's just a simple function like deleting that and create an unordered list of three things that cats love at the bottom of the page okay um, should be simple enough so create a UL element and for that you just type in UL open and close but you don't want it to be caps caps lock is on there UL go down and we're gonna need to close it with the UL forward slash and then in between we're gonna do these LI tags and something that cats like is you know like I don't know ball of yarn you oops li li there we go something that cats love they like you know cat food milk I'm drawing a blank here on the spot <laughs> milk was on the other list too so I'm just milk on original and uh, like scratching posts or something sleeping How many things am I supposed to put down here? Three? Oh, okay, I already got the three. Um, okay, so every time you put the LI, you can see it's like an extra, I guess you don't need that. That was confusing to me. So if you put extra LIs, every time you put the LI, it's a bullet point. Boom, boom, boom. I thought you had to open and close it or something according to this example okay you do need to open and close it oops I was not closing it so then the question needs to be asked like why even put the closing tag I'm not sure I don't know but I'm gonna follow the example it worked without it so I don't know we'll do these objectives I guess because it's an objective for now and that's what happens when you're self-taught. Let's see, create a um, UL element, done. And you can see you can, okay, if you put the closing bracket, I guess you can minimize it or something. That just looks funky. Um, let's see here. You should have three LI elements within your UL element, we do. UL closing tag. That's complete. Li element should have closing tags. We added those. I did not have those at first. Didn't know I needed them. Your li element should not contain an empty string or only white space. Okay, so it has to be words like letters. And we're gonna run the test now. And these objectives were complete. It's way cool. Thank you, Free Code Camp, Responder Bot AI. I love it. Good job. Thank you for following along with this video. Hit the submit button and head over to the next challenge. It'll be on the next video. I will take us to the outro. Thank you for watching. If you feel this video was helpful or you liked it, then click the like button.
If you want to see more content like this, then subscribe. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments down below. I am Findimus, and I will see you later. Have a good day, everybody.